For blister beetles like this, surviving to adulthood is no easy matter. As babies or larvae, they're born at the base of plants like these, but need to travel across the scorching Mojave Desert to find food and safe shelter. The sand temperatures are extremely um, high, and it's very hot. And as a small little larva, they would they would instantly die if they hit the sand. Ecologist Leslie Saul Gershens discovered the baby beetles have an elaborate trick. They climb up the plant stem bunch up into the shape of a bee and work together to emit a chemical that smells like a female bee. A male bee comes by to court his new girlfriend. If he gets too close, the larvae hop on and hold on for dear life, then go for a ride. It's all like calling a taxi in. Gee, I need to get over here and I'm going to call this really wonderful taxi that flies. When that taxi finds a real female bee, the baby beetles jump onto her for a lift to their final destination, her food-filled underground nest. Saul Gershens and a colleague wrote in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that this is the first known case of insects cooperating to chemically mimic their prey. That's what we call a pseudocopulation. They're trying to mate with that massive larvae because they smell like a female bee. That's an amazing story. It's a, just a, a story of the intricacies and the complexity of life. A Darwinian bee perfume that attracts the ride of a lifetime for a beetle. I'm Brad Closa.